Sometimes you may encounter a shot that flickers. The luminance values change erratically throughout the shot. This can happen with old archival footage that's a bad development of the film, or it can happen if you, say, have auto contrast or auto exposure turned on the camera, and something flies through the scene to temporarily darken it or brighten it and cause this flickering in the overall luminance. Well, there is an effect in After Effects called the Color Stabilizer, which can help remove some of these flickers and contrast or color throughout a shot. Let's give it a quick look. Here's a piece of archival footage that has an issue with some flickering in the luminance. You'll particularly notice it in this black to white gradient on the back wall, where the gradient seems to move because the mid-tone values of the shot is changing over time. Let's select our footage and apply Effect, Color Correction, Color Stabilizer. Color Stabilizer gives you a few different options on how you stabilize this image. For example, if the whole image is getting brighter or darker evenly, you can select just brightness. This will give you one point to go ahead and pick and move around of what's a representative color and say, keep that point with a sample size of three pixels or say 20 pixels or whatever you choose, the same color throughout the shot. However, few shots have even differences in exposure throughout. There's differences in the highlights, and in the shadows. And if we were to RAM preview with this setting, you could see how now the entire image is flickering, not just the gradient on this back wall. So this is not the correct setting for this shot. If it's just a highlight shadow issue, here's where you want to use so-called levels, where you get to pick a black point. I might pick something like this tie, and a white point. I might pick something like this headband on him, and say, keep those two points stable, and do whatever you need throughout the shot. This is almost like an auto contrast at this point, except for it's affecting the color. Now in a more subtle shot like this, where the black and white was frankly staying pretty even throughout the shot, but the gradient was moving, this is where I'll use curves as my stabilized setting. Now I get to pick my black point, again I'll use this tie, my white point, again I'll use this headband, but I'll also pick my midpoint. In this case, I'll pick something as close as I can to about a 50% gray and say, stabilize that throughout the shot. And make sure you choose points that are gonna stay constant throughout the shot, then nothing's gonna fly across them, like a hand, a bird, or whatever, to throw off the correction. From this point on, color stabilizer is very automatic. I'm gonna hit zero on the numeric keypad to calculate a RAM preview. Let's see how it looks when we're done. Here's the preview, and you'll notice that this gradient is no longer chasing up and down this wall. It is a pretty smooth gradient along this wall. I'll turn off the effect, preview again, and now you see what we had before. It was really jumping around quite a bit. Color stabilizer on and preview. You'll see how steady it is. This is what color stabilizer is good at, removing these flickers throughout a shot. What if the first frame in your footage does not have the ideal colors or contrast that you'd like to stabilize? What if there's a different frame later in the footage which is a better representative reference frame? Well, here's where the easily missed set frame button comes in. Move the time indicator to the frame that you want to be your reference. Let's say after his hands down, right in that area. Then click set frame. At that point, Color Stabilizer will now use the colors underneath these points at this frame as the reference, and then bend the colors in the rest of the shot to match this reference frame. Now, Color Stabilizer is not a color correction effect. If I want to, say, improve the contrast of the shot, I may apply something like Color Correction, Auto Contrast, and put it before Color Stabilizer so I have a nice maximized image. If I want to add a tint to this effect, I might apply something like color correction, color balance to really tweak out the image, or even something as simple as hue saturation just to do a quick shift to the whole image, such as get a skin tone a little more yellow rather than red. But color stabilizer is what will lock in this contrast and this color throughout the entire shot and stop these bits of flickering and shifting that are going on. So it's a nice tool to add to your arsenal.